Right, listen, just don't comment about the echo on this one, look, because you talk about that all the time. Okay. I'm getting on, all right? All right. Well, folks, out on the 1200. I said we was going to do back to back. Let's show you. Hang on, let's turn that off. Let's okay. get the stand down. Misses Brace for impact. Brace for impact. Faye just falls off the bike. I just kicked me a leg. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate yeah. it. Crying ass. Have you heard that, folks? It's getting worse every episode, this. Isn't you, it? you call me that all the time. What, crying ass? Yeah, that's yeah, your you main thing. Yeah, but you are. Anyway, guys, hello. Anyway, hello. Welcome hello. back to Preston. Yeah, like I said on the last video, we was going to do the back to back with the 1200 because some people are saying this, that, and the other. So we're out on this. Uh, it's a 2018 GS 1200. It's yeah. basically still got the, the CFT keyless. It's pretty much the same as the other one, bar whatever the differences are between the 1250 and the 12. If you need to know that, go and see a video that's got all that, because that's not what this is about. I'm just trying to say the riding difference, the pillion difference, and what have you. Uh, when we set off from the dealer, we had this in road mode. Now, we had the other one in dynamic, didn't we? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I wasn't sure how to change it, so that's why we didn't. He did show me, but I wasn't paying attention. I was just happy to get on the bike. But he showed us on this, I have listened and put it into practice so we changed it was in road mode which is a lot a bit like you're on a ship uh, what like that yeah a bit like <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that exactly exactly the same as that but difference right yeah so we had it in road mode in ship mode uh, I've switched it to dynamic uh, and to be honest I think I prefer it in dynamic uh, I don't know why I just probably got used to it last week but that's got to be said, uh, like I said, the, the difference for me, I'll show you in a minute, is that in this, because I'm a, I think as, I, as I've got older, I've become a lazier rider. I have become a lazier rider. I now haven't I even got there yet, folks. Yeah, so I do <laughs> tend to leave it in higher gears and just ride on the talk, uh, which that's where you can feel, really feel the difference between this and the 1250. You can, well, I can anyway. I showed, I showed Faye, basically, I've got up to 50 put it in sixth gear and wound it on. Now I said, I said look and there's a noticeable difference. Oh god I can feel it as well I yeah. can feel it. It took its time to get going didn't it? Yeah once it's underway, are you in the right gear, it's fine, yeah. there's not much difference uh, there isn't much difference but if you're a lazy rider like myself and just ride on talk, that's when you do that's when you do find it's the, the, where the difference and the benefits are uh, but Sat on it. There's, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it. The brakes, so your positioning and your positioning and the back thing is fine. Um, for me, as the pillion, I don't know why, but this felt a bit more comfier. It might be something to do with it not being a low, a lower bike like the last one. Yeah, well, because what the difference is on this, because this is a standard size bike, uh, but with the seats in the low position. Because I've not got the longest legs at world, so but this just suits me pretty much bang on height wise. Uh, like the African swim was fine before we changed the rear shock. We changed the rear shock and it sat another inch and a half taller. So then, even on the low seat setting, I was struggling with the floor. So yeah, the yeah. low seat on the African swim, which is rock hard, so it's like sitting on, like sitting on that curb. Uh, it's just it. It's like that. It's what, it's what it is, folks. You move things about. You, t you alter things to fit your own style. We could have parked in a noisier place. We should have just parked on an earth strip or something under aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> we should oh, have I don't know. I don't know. Should, it's noisy for us. We should have at the airport, we? <laughs> the airport. Yeah, so. But for me, it's comfier. But I can, I can feel the change in the gear and all that. I'm a little bit more jerky on this yeah. one. I don't know why. Yeah, like I say, if you've rolled this, because uh, we've had two GSs before, two 1200s, we've had the Adventure and the Standard GS. Uh, the older ones than this, but like I say, it's, it's a sort of credit to the bike that they've not really changed. When you sat on one, it could be on any. Uh, but the new one, is, it, is, it does feel more refined. But is it worth that extra money? I don't know. That's down to personal preference and the size of your wallet. Come on, let, let's get on anyway, and, come and on, show come on. the guys how, how it's yeah. done. Because the fuel lights just come on, so we're gonna. Because I'm a tight ass. Yeah, and I'm we're a, only allowed. 
Only allowed three mile on it. No, we're not. Because <laughs> <really. laughs> yeah. this is actually a, a for sale bike at BMW, this. But I just said to Richard, I said, uh, any chance could ride a 12 just to do a back to back thing? Okay, I said, I'm yeah, jump Sean. On. He said, anything, Sean, anything you want, Sean. Well, he didn't. <laughs> he said, really? He said, this is for sale, this. Uh, tank reserve level reached right to the next filling station as opposed to push it to the next filling station so we'll get rid of that look at this, me pressing this whiz wheel I've not used that yet folks the last one last weekend I'm not into all that you could take all the all these buttons that you could take them all off for me honestly you could take them all off I'm just absolutely not interested in them I hate buttons and I hate gadgets I just want the back like I said I want it to be set to what everything's automatic just let it do its thing I don't want to be asked about pressing buttons, this whiz wheel thing, I don't, I don't get it. I don't want to get it either, uh, but that's, as I said, that's just down to preference of me being old. Who come in there, no. Yeah, the engine's not quite as refined. It's not bad, like, but, uh, yeah, let's go. There's a roundabout coming up, let's get it real quick. I know we're taking the two extremes, but we're doing 48 mile an hour now, he's sixth. Now on the 1250, it'll pull like a train now. On this, it's going, it's going now. It's, I can just feel it getting its feet now. Yeah, so as I said, I'm a lazy rider. Uh, so that probably doesn't suit me best, but when you sat on it, uh, there's not much in it. There's not much in it. Like I said, we're in dynamic. Are we? I think we're in dynamic. Well, we're on, no, we're on road. No, we're on road. It says road. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, folks. I've put, I have put the spring in dynamic. I'm sure he have. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's in dynamic on the spring. It must be the engine setting. So mode, road, dynamic. I don't jump up clutching or something. Dynamic. So all right. So we're on dynamic. Everything now. We're completely dynamic. Hundred <laughs> percent dynamic. Uh, speak me out. Yeah, it's it's not quite got the beans of the 1250, but it's quick enough. Plenty quick enough. Yeah, the uh, I'm not even not even a speedbird. Just like, oh god! All right, I've not got that on for sure, you folks. Oh shit! Right, what I've done because I've put the I've, obviously I put the intercoms in this Scorpion helmet, uh, and the part where the mic attaches, I've sort of put it in a, in a gap in the uh, the lining at the top, and it keeps coming out. I said I keep saying I'm gonna stick it in with something, but I haven't done, and it. It's come out now and it's on my head, scratching my head. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, I can proper feel it, but we'll persevere. We will persevere. Sort out when we go back. Yeah, so we've got 37 mile in tank. We're not a million miles away. Just want to get on some country roads, I'll show you. Yeah, it goes well. Like I say, it's not got the beans of the 1250, but... It's fast enough. If you've never rolled one before, you'd think it was plenty quick enough. Well, I'm glad it's got a back box on. I'm telling you that now. Oh, yeah, you got a back box on, haven't you? Yeah, that was the thing that Faye was saying on the last one, folks. We need not having a back box on. There was nothing for her to lean on. The quick shifter and blipper feels exactly the same on this. Doesn't feel much. Good. Well, you said it's a bit jerky, didn't you? Not yeah, bad. it's not as smooth in the gear change as um, the 1250 for me. Um, feeling it all. And to be honest with you, I'm what, the suspension seems a little bit smoother on it as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether the settings are different on this one. And I'm sure this is set up the same now. I'm sure it is, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, the, the other one felt a bit plusher. Not much, like I said, there's not much in it. It's not night and day difference, but there is... Oh, like God, no, said, no, no, it's definitely not difference. night and day, but that, like you say, that tweaking, that fine, fine refinement, you can actually sense it. Um, it's steady, Oi. Oh, really? Oh, should, he, should he be on that road? But the guy gets to wherever he's going if he doesn't. <laughs> Just so, felt yeah. like he was taking the whole road then. Yes. That's what happens when you're a wagon driver, babe. You're on the road. 
Yeah, so it's good to show you because people say, you know, have you tried the late, the last of the uh, last of the twelves, and this is the one of the last of the twelves, I believe. Well, um, Betty was twelve, wasn't she? What? Yeah, she was. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm completely lost what you was talking about. Then I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our GS adventure we had was a twelve hundred. But it was I'll one dig of the, out some pictures just to remind you. Yeah, but it was one of the early ones. Uh, I think it was a 2007. I think, I think. But it was mint. We bought, we bought that sight unseen. Uh, it turned up in a van from BMW. Uh, it was just in a picture. It come online because it was after one. Uh, I said we bought it without seeing it, without riding it. I'd never, and you know what? I'd never rode a GS when we bought that. It turned up. And it was about three days before we went out on it. And me and Faye went for a ride on it. And I was like, what the fuck have I bought? <laughs> and the riding falls and that. It was like, what the fuck? It's like a walking tractor. We'd and actually I, I gone from the um, Suzuki to that, hadn't we? Yeah, we had a GSX 1400. Uh, we got rid of that and got the... Uh, Got the GS uh, as, as as mainly a for a touring bike, nothing, no other reason but just be a. And that was before people were getting them; they weren't that popular then. Uh, but my mate had had one for a while. He'd had the 1150, then he went for the 12, and he said, "Sean, try one of these." I mean, touring wise, said you're not going to beat it. Uh, stupid, well, not stupid, because it worked out all right. But at the time. I was a bit unsure, but we found one, it was mint, got it delivered, and like I so said, we went out in it after three days, and we were like, what the fuck is this? And it, I bet it took me, what, well, I bet it took me a good couple of hours for even start getting into it. Uh, but now it's, you sort of get them now. And yeah. I know there's a lot of people keep commenting, that, 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 like saying it, I don't get a bench, but I don't see the point. They're just, bit, you know, you don't want to get it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, you why, don't. I don't know why people bother what somebody else rides. I don't get. That's one of the things I don't get with YouTube. Too many people saying what you should and shouldn't get. Why does it matter? Why is anyone bothered what somebody else gets with their money? <laughs> so I don't get it. If you were paying for it for them, yeah, fair play. You deserve a. You deserve a say in it then. It really is personal choice. It's down it to is. your own. You don't it get is. up. It's nice to get advice, it really is. It's nice to have other people's opinions. That does count for things, but well, again, it at, the, at the end of the like. day, it really depends. We're, you know, we're changing the Africa Twin, not for looks, for comfort more than anything now. Yeah, for comfort, like I said, I don't get a bad back on one of these. We've tried uh, the, new, the new Honda, we've tried that. Like I said, we're not vlogging all these rides because everybody else is testing them and every other video on YouTube is from the new NT and all sorts. Uh, so we're not, we're, we're just having a ride on them. Uh, NT, I've got to admit I didn't like it at all. It was just the, uh, it was just an Africa twin with women's clothes on. I, did, I didn't get it. Uh, but I can imagine if you've ever had an Africa twin and got one of them as a touring bike, solely a touring bike, great. Just not my cup of tea. I tried the RT, which was great, but I just don't like the look of the bike. Uh, and I couldn't stand having a bike that I didn't like the look of. But, like Faye said, that's just personal choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's nothing to do with the bike whatsoever. That's just my personal choice. It's probably, theoretically, probably pound for pound, one of the best bikes you can get for touring that and the Pan-European for me. If somebody had to say, uh, the best tour, obviously the Goldwing, but we're not going down that path. We're on about mid-sports tour type things. But for me, the RT or the Honda Pan European are probably the best, best, best of the bunch of all time. Oh, should we give this a quick blast here? Come on. Ram See, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't smooth, that. I know, this. No, that, <laughs> that just showed you. When we did that then, uh, I could have done that in fifth gear, maybe, on the... On the 1250. On the 1250, yeah. And it would have been a lot smoother. On this, it was like making a big song and dance about it. Yeah, now, I don't yeah. mind it, but it, it does get tired of some at some points. Uh, I do like having a play, don't get me wrong. Uh, I used to be a bit of a idiot when I was younger. I'm still an idiot now. You well, are, yeah. Just definitely. not as much of an idiot. Yeah. And we don't want to go down because somebody will be buying this soon anyway. But if you buy one of these, you get, you're not going to go wrong. Definitely not going to go wrong, Donny. But we just want to show you anyway. This is what we're. This is what the script is. Because you do get asked, what's your thoughts on the 1200, and you're like, no, this, you struggle faulty. Struggle to faulty. 
No, you're not. You're not faulting any of them. What you're doing is saying, we, you know, how how good, how good are the, how much more good are the. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that didn't make much sense. Sorry. How much but, more good? <laughs> I don't mean, how much more good. They're all yeah. good. You know what how I mean? good it is, and how much more good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, but then it's gooder. <laughs> there is gooder. There is better. Yeah. There's good. Sorry. There's gooder and there's goodier. You know what I mean? Yeah. This they're, is all, like, they're all goody. Yeah. <laughs> we had the good one in the old version. This is a gooder, and then there's a goodier one in dealership. Ah, so. <laughs> goodier. Uh, yeah. oh, I love it. Yeah, so sorry, folks, it's getting delirious. But no, we've got asked about can we do a back to back test? And I'm not using it to all that kind of stuff. It's not really my gig, that. Uh, but I thought, well, we're going down there anyway, it'd be rude not to. Because I said we only took the other one back yesterday, so I thought, now it's still fresh in my mind, we can, we can do it. Yeah. So anyway folks, I'm going to get this back before it runs out of fuel. And Gary has to go and put some more juice in it or comes and picks us up because we've run out somewhere. So we yeah, get back. Yeah. And uh, we will let you know what's going on. So the next the next Scotland episode should be out in a couple of days anyway. So we'll throw this up midweek. Uh, and then the next Scotland episode should come out. It's only going to be a two-parter. So the one you've already seen and the one that we get out for uh, next Friday. Oh some God, sort of it's a cracker the next one. Oh yeah, the next one's a good one. Lord of scenery and uh, yeah, it was, yeah, really enjoyed it. See this now, tyre pressure does not match set points. I'm not interested, not bothered. How can I get rid of that? Stop immediately, sets. No, I'm not stopping. <laughs> stop immediately. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it. No. In the middle of the road. Yeah, just stop immediately. Put your feet down and kick the tyres. Make sure they're all right. I'll tell you what, walks. Is this a lab out here? For shits and giggles, we'll stop now and kick the tyres. Imagine one's flat now. <laughs> oh, hang on. What the hell? I think I was imagining that then. I felt like the front tyre was down a bit then. But what we'll do... I know there's going to be people watching this who've got one of these and say, Oh, no, all you've got to do is this. You've got to twist that, go into this, press that. You keep kicking me getting off. Oh, sorry, you babe. I'll kick you better next time. I know, you kick me. Put my boots on, boot me. Hang on, right, so what we'll do, we've got to check the tyre pressures. Lords in that, that's fine. They're on, pal. Top speed, steady flat out. They're fine, no talk with them. Top of the range, them. Anyway, folks, from the 1200 GS, from Bethel Fair, we will see you next Friday. Okay, bye, everybody. Okay, bye. <laughs> It's all gone wrong, folks. It's gone wrong today. Oh, uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're doing a podcast tonight with uh, Teapot One. God knows why his ass does go on, but it'll be a giggle, so we've got to go home, get some beer, put some uh, lingerie on, and, uh, <laughs> and make a fool of ourselves. Well, that's easy for me, though. <laughs> me being normal does that. But anyway, yeah, so go on. check off now. You'll see the video Friday. Podcast with Teapot One tonight. I don't know when he's putting it up. No idea. That's it's not that's nothing to do with us. That's his channel. Oh, fucking hell. Poppy exhaust. Oh my god. They're not, they're not even embarrassed, are they? They drive along with the exhaust popping the fart and they're not even embarrassed. They're unbelievable. Anyway, see you the fa- uh, we'll see you Friday. See you Friday. Take care. Bye. Bye.